think unique, particularly within a city uh, where there's so much other noise around and you're in an office or in Collins Street. And uh, to get away from that in the city is a unique environment, I feel. When we think about the hustle and bustle of the city, uh, having a place to be able to retreat into is extraordinarily valuable. For those that uh, see Mingri for the first time, uh, appreciate how uh, special it is. Mingri provides that unique experience. You might say, not quite being out of this world, but certainly removed from everything else that can influence your thinking. I wanted to ensure that we had, right in the heart of Melbourne, a place where people could sit quietly and reflect, perhaps even to, to recenter their lives in those few moments. If you come to Mingri, the quiet place, you find it's entirely different. The environment is not dictating to you, you're dictating the environment. And as you feel in the comfort of the quiet, you're able to contemplate and think without interruption. Well, originally the space was a, was a formal chapel, but it was, not, it was not doing its work. So it was for that reason that we removed all paths that were the formal chapel and allowed a new space to, to develop. Well, it's a room, it's quiet, it's isolated, has no religious symbols about it, although it's connected to a church. It has symbols in the way of a rock, which is identified as being something onto which you attach as being secure and safe as a rock. It has then a symbol of something like hope arising out of that rock. And I think you can feel comfort from the fact if you close your eyes, you can still be thinking about it. If you open them, you see this image and uh, you can then feel, well, uh, things are not as bad as they seem. There's hope. And I think the other symbolic feature of it is the water, and water is a fount of life, and you sort of feel connected to things beyond yourself. And I don't think it's a religious experience because it's not within the church. So you can feel comfortable and relaxed, and your thoughts can wander and resolve, if you can resolve problems, or isolate yourself from them. Many people have gone through very distressing times, uh, traumatic times, and we need to find places where we can sit and let healing uh, begin again. We want the mission of Mingri to be for everybody, for people, wherever they are, uh, in the city of Melbourne or in country areas or from overseas when they come to visit us, to stand in front of Mingri and let it be a healing, restoring place. So its mission is really about recentering, recovery, restoring, being a place where people can find that there's a chance or an opportunity to embrace a new phase of their life. That's his mission. Well, the vision that Dr. McNabb had to set up Mingari is really quite extraordinary. To think that we could create somewhere uh, in the middle of the city that uh, allowed people from any walk of life to come in and uh, be, uh, as I said, topped up again and, feel, and made to feel better or just somewhere to contemplate um, is remarkable uh, because they, there's not many cities in the world that have that space.
Mingri provides that space where you're able to contemplate your existence among others and the influence of others as they have on you and you on them. So I think Dr McNabb provides that background for you to work on and that's important for any individual to face the realities of life you might say. One of the most important things that we need to do and so often ignore is that we need to nourish our soul. You know, how, does our, how do we keep feeding ourselves our inner being to be the best we possibly can be? And Mingri provides that opportunity. Well, we know that just anecdotally, um, people report back that they go to the quiet place regularly. Some people go there during their lunch time. We know of workplaces um, where maybe a staff member has become emotional or distraught about something during the day and the employer has said go down to that place and, and take a bit of time out and then come back to work and, and that it's um, quite therapeutic to just sit in a quiet place and calm down and reflect and this, the, the environment is very soothing so that's helpful to people. And then of course we have information at Mingri, the quiet place about the counselling service so that if somebody wants more than sitting quietly on their own they can certainly come and get further help from us. Having a counselling service that's open to anybody and low cost is unique. Well, our mission is to offer services to everybody, um, anybody, anybody who wants to come can come here. To become a psychologist takes a minimum of six years and so it's really important to provide great training, on the ground training which is very different from what they receive in the classroom. And so yes, we've trained um, over 100 provisional psychologists and counsellors. Both the object, the quiet place and the talking place, the, the counselling processes go hand in hand. It's quite remarkable how many people have walked into Mingri and had an extremely positive experience from it. It's about solitude in the centre of our beautiful city. Mingri is a welcome break from the bright lights and noise of the city. It's become a regular place for me to visit during my lunch break or during times of stress. If I take just five minutes out of my day to quietly sit in Mingri, I walk out feeling rejuvenated. Within Mingri, there is time to think and time to distill your thoughts. Mingri is a special place that allows you to top yourself up again. It's uh, somewhere where you won't be distracted, you won't be uh, diverted in your thinking, you can open yourself up in a safe environment and feel refreshed and uh, rejuvenated when you walk out. And again I state that it's there for people of all walks of life, from the wealthy to the poor, from the from the religious to the absolutely no religion. Because whoever we are, we're going to have times of sadness, loneliness, sickness, bereavement, dying. There it is. Mingling is for everybody.